Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Thanksgiving liturgy. Let us begin with the sign of our faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation to give you thanks. Please stand for a brief scripture reading. A reading from our St. Paul to the Thessalonians. <clears throat> now we ask you, brothers and sisters, to acknowledge those who work hard among you, who care for you in the Lord and who admonish you. Hold them in the highest regard and love because of their work. Live in peace with each other. And we urge you, brothers and sisters, warn those who are idle and disruptive. Encourage the disheartened. Help the weak. Be patient with everyone. Make sure that nobody pays back wrong for wrong, but always strive to do what is good for each other and for everyone else. Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please be seated for a brief reflection video. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz, and this is Ascension Presents. Happy Thanksgiving. Why? Because I think a lot of times on a day like Thanksgiving, we think, ah, giving thanks is nice. Giving thanks is a good thing to do. Giving thanks is a really positive thing. It is. All three of those things. It's nice. It's good. It's positive. Do we ever stop to realize that giving thanks is actually more than that? That giving thanks is necessary. I mean, like that it, it's not just an op, it's not optional. It, that it's one of those things where it's, it's, we give thanks or we don't have the Lord. We give thanks or we don't have the life he's won for us. We give thanks or we're not saved. I mean, I think there's, there's an element here in, and now that might be, is that, is that overstating things? Maybe, but then again, maybe not. Let's go back to the Mass. In the Mass, I'll say my part, you say your part. The Lord be with you. I want your, you, know, you say with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. You say, it is right and just. I really like the new translation, it is right and just. In uh, Spanish, you say, es justo y necesario. It's just and necessary. It's right and just. It's justo y necesario. It's just and necessary. That, let's give thanks to the Lord. Yeah. It's necessary. <laughs> and then the priest says, it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Stop there. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Like, have you ever stopped? You hear those words at every single Mass. It is indeed right and just. Yes, yes, see, as who's doing necessario. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Two things, duty and necessary, necessity. That it's not an option, it's our duty, right? And it's our salvation, always and everywhere, to give God thanks. I just want to stop and on this moment and realize again, Thanksgiving Day, good, nice, positive, always, it is necessary, it is our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. One of the things that means, obviously, is that we give God thanks in the Mass. Um, the word Eucharist comes from the Greek word Eucharistia, which means thanksgiving. So, like, yes, this whole thing we're doing in the Mass, this is justo y necessario. This is right and just. This is our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord God Almighty. To give God thanks is our duty and our salvation in the Mass. We need to do this but always and everywhere it is our duty and our salvation to give you thanks. And I just wonder sometimes if you and I walk around this world with the same kind of wonder and thanksgiving that we're meant to walk around this world in. I mean, do, do <laughs> I don't know, I always go back to this, the, the simple things of like when you walk out of the house or even just walk around the house, like, oh my gosh, I have feet, I have legs. Like, I've got these two things that I did nothing to deserve. This is incredible. Or if you can see this, you can look around the room you're in right now. Like, I've got eyes. Like, I can see. This is incredible. This is, this is a miracle. If you can hear these words, 
that, oh my gosh, God, thank you. Again, not just to be like, oh wow, this is cool, I have feet, or I you know, can see, or I can, I can hear, but I can do these things, thank you, God. I know what I do, is I rarely um, appreciate the gifts I've been given until they're gone. So, like, for example, right now, uh, my knees are relatively fine. I mean, a little creaky on the left knee, whatever, no big deal. But, but like, for, for the most part, like, pretty good, pretty fine. But then what happens is, you know, I hurt my knee a little while ago, and I'm like, what the, oh, I'm so angry. Why? Because this isn't working. But it was working for 30-some years. And I didn't once think, wow, these knees work. This is amazing. I mean, same thing when it comes to like when I get sick. There's all those stories about how guys can't get sick. Well, maybe it's true because I know it's true in this one. So I get sick and I'm like, oh my gosh, the world's, tr you know, crumbling. But I'm not mostly, I'm not always sick. I'm usually actually healthy. Well, what days do I wake up and go, God, I don't, I don't have a sniffle. Thank you. <laughs> or God, I can breathe freely. Thank you. God, my lungs are working. This is, thank you so much. How often? I actually I invite you to do this thing. Why? Because Not because it's nice or because it's good or because it's positive, but because it is your duty and your salvation to go through some of the things in your life right now that you're just grateful for. If you can wiggle your toes, my Lord, thank you, I can wiggle these toes. If you can stand up right now, not everyone, can, not everyone watching this or listening to this can stand up right now, but if you can, be, be able to stand up and go, oh my gosh, God, thank you. It could be otherwise. If you, if you have someone in your life that cares about you, maybe they don't care about you perfectly, maybe they don't care about you the way you want them to, and maybe they're not the right, the one person you really want to care about you. If you have any person in your life who actually cares about you, to say, oh my gosh, God, thank you. Because there are some people watching this who would say, I can't think of anyone who cares about me. If you have even one person just to stop and say, thank you, God, thank you. Not because it's good, not because it's nice, not because it's positive, but because es justo y necesario. Because it is right and just. It is our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give God thanks. So if it's our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give God thanks, how about giving God thanks here? And now, for all of us here at Ascension Presents, Happy Thanksgiving. My name is Father Mike. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends. And also, when you have those friends, thank God you got friends. Stand. So with everything that Father Mike Schmidt said, let's spend a minute quietly reflecting on maybe the people, the circumstances, and the things that we have to be grateful for. for all these things on our hearts and for a safe Thanksgiving with family and friends. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let's also pray the prayer that Jesus taught us all together. Our Father, Father who art Lord in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation to give you thanks. So in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Have a blessed and safe Thanksgiving weekend.